Let me show you how to create such product manipulation using iPhone 16 Pro in Photoshop. Create a new document of 1080 by 1080 pixels. From adjustment layer add gradient. Follow these settings. Follow these color codes as shown. Make these changes in settings. Press Ctrl plus J to make a gradient copy. Right click and convert it into smart object. Press Ctrl plus T to free transform. Right click and select perspective. Hold Alt key and stretch it till 8 degree. Again right click now select distort. Stretch it down till 25 degree. Select both gradient layers using shift key and group it. Backdrop is ready. Now select Ellipse tool. Left click to insert its width and height. Follow these settings. Place it accordingly. From properties keep fill to white color. Using Alt key make a two copies of it. For top ellipse from properties keep fill to black color. Select bottom ellipse. Hold Alt and down key on keyboard to create 77 copies of it. Select 77th copy then hold shift key and scroll down to select ellipse one layer. Right click and convert it into smart object. Then from layer style select gradient overlay. Follow these color codes. Follow the overall setup. Now select middle ellipse layer. Again from layer style select gradient overlay and follow the process. Follow these color codes.
follow the overall setup. Place the top ellipse above the bottom ellipse as shown. Now select top ellipse layer. Decrease its opacity and fill as shown. Drag it below and place it behind the bottom ellipse layer. Press Ctrl plus T to free transform and place it accordingly to look like a shadow. From Filter select Blur then Gaussian Blur. Keep Radius to 8.8 .8 pixels. Select Bottom Ellipse Layer and from Layer Style enable Drop Shadow. Follow these settings. Select all ellipse layer and group it. Podium is ready. From file select place embedded to add iPhone 16 Pro PNG image. Place it accordingly. Press Ctrl plus J to make a copy of it. Press Ctrl plus T to free transform. Right click and select flip vertical. Place it accordingly as shown. Add layer mask. Press Ctrl plus I to inverse. Select brush tool. Make sure that foreground color is white. Start brushing to create reflective surface effect. Select top ellipse layer. Hold control key and click on thumbnail to make selection. Now select quick selection tool. Right click and select inverse. Select Brush Tool. Make sure foreground color is black. Start brushing on unwanted portions. Press Ctrl plus D to deselect. Make changes in opacity and fill as shown. Drag the layer below. Add new layer. Drag the layer below. Select brush tool. Follow the process. Make sure foreground color is black. Start brushing to create a shadow effect. Use left and right key to rotate brush. From filter select blur then Gaussian blur. Keep radius to 12.5 pixels.
Press Ctrl plus T and make some adjustments in shadow layer is shown. Select all layers using shift key and group it. Product display is ready. Now select type tool. Left click to insert. I am using a Kara expanded super bold font. Keep fill to white color. Type the text. Keep text size to 85 points. Drag the text layer behind the phone. Press Ctrl plus T and place it accordingly. From blend mode select overlay. Make the changes in opacity and fill is shown. From file select place embedded to add spot image. Place it accordingly. From blend mode select color dodge. Group the layer. Text and light effect is ready. Press Ctrl plus Alt plus Shift plus E key to create merged layer. From Filter select Camera Raw Filter. Follow these settings. Take a pause and copy these required settings. Final result is ready. Group the layer. That's it for today. If you like my content subscribe to my channel and let me know in comments. Also don't forget to check out my other product manipulation tutorials thank you.